Hey there, welcome to the 6.1, 6.2 practice. Um, just wanted to give you a few uh, tips on, on how to approach these. Um, you know, all, looking at number one, um, if n is four, an exponential form, you're gonna write whatever's in the a, um, and you'll put that uh, like in parentheses, so 2401 x to the 16th, and then you'll raise that to the one-fourth power. That's because in radical form, the n is the root. So 4 is your root. It's a one-fourth power. So you just say 2401 x to the 16th. Okay. So what's the fourth root of 2401? And that's 7. Don't forget to write a plus or minus since it's an even root. And then with your exponents, you just divide x to the 16th divided by 4 is x to the 4th. So that's what you'll do on, whoa, okay. That's what you'll do on uh, 2 and 3, okay. Um, converting these expressions to radical or exponential form, looking at something like number 4, before you convert it to radical form, because it's an exponential form, you need to take care of the negative exponent. Remember, those, those mean fractions. So you have 125 over x to the 3rd, and then that's raised to the negative two-thirds. So that takes care of the x to the negative third. Well, how do I take care of the negative two-thirds? Well, if you have a negative two-thirds being applied to this and this, then if you flip that fraction, then it becomes a positive two-thirds. So x to the third over 125 raised to the two-thirds power is the appropriate form for the exponential form. Writing it in radical form, um, that's going to officially be, remember, the bottom number is your root. And then you have x to the third over 125. All right, and then you're going to square that answer. So you can get that answer on your own, but that'll start you up there. Now, whereas when you're converting to exponential form, you see the power, or you see the root, um, it's just a square root. So you're just going to write whatever you have and you just put that in parentheses and raise it to the one half power. You know, if it was the third root, it'd be one third power. This one, it's fourth root and it's raised to the fifth power. So it'll be raised to the five fourths power in exponential form. Um, looking at number seven, you have 18 X to the fifth over y to the uh, times y to the negative seventh. So really, just put it uh, to y to the seventh, and it's raised to the one half power. So I think it's easier to explain if I just write it as um, a square root function, because I mean it still is if it's one half power. Um, but I'm gonna break it up because I can't take the square root of 18 right away. But I know 18 is nine times two. And I can't take the square root of x to the fifth because that makes 2.5. But break it up. What can you divide by 2? Because you're dividing the powers. I can divide 4 by 2. You want to, you know, try and divide the biggest number you can. So like with 7, I'm going to do 6 and 1. All right. So this tells me that I can square root these numbers. So that'll be 3x squared over y to the third. And then what stays behind was that 2x and the square root of y. All right, so this one would be done, except you have that square root of y left over, so you have to rationalize it. How do you get rid of a square root? Just multiply by the square root of that again. So this, on bottom, now makes y to the fourth. And on top, you just have that 3x squared times the square root of 2xy, all right? And so... Number 8 and 9, you don't have to worry about rationalizing, but number 10, you will have to rationalize the denominator. It will be pretty similar to this, but this should start you off, give you some help um, for this assignment. All right, thanks. Bye.